Hi, and welcome to the fourth PC 101 tutorial. In the first tutorial, you learned your desktop basics and how to shut down your PC. In the second tutorial, you learned how to use the bottom taskbar and the calculator function. In the third tutorial, you learned how to view window by window. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to use your DVD player on your PC. To begin, let's go to our start in our lower left corner, and I'm going to click on start. Then click again on all programs and it will bring you up with a list of all the programs on your computer. Today the um, two DVD softwares that we are going to look at is InterVideo Win DVD and Windows Media Player. First let's start with InterVideo Win DVD. You will go start at start, go to all programs, and it may be under a folder, but it also might be right there on that list. Go to Enter Video Win DVD and go all the way over here to Enter Video Win DVD. It will bring up Enter, Win, Enter Video Win DVD like this. I don't have a DVD in my computer at this time, but it will bring you up to that um, screen that every DVD brings you to that asks you to play or select a scene or change a language. Or stuff like that. So you would press play. Now when you start pressing play, play is down here, you would press play and then you would go to this icon right here which means maximize. Click on, click on maximize and as you see what I love about InterVideo Win DVD is it takes away all of the buttons that you need to use and the entire screen is the video that your students are watching. Now to get out of this screen, all you have to do is press escape on your keyboard, which is in the upper left hand corner. So I'm going to press escape and it brings me back to that first screen that it showed me. You can stop the video down here. You can pause the video down here also. But I'm just going to exit the video because I want to show you about Windows Media Player. So I'm going to close Enter Video Win DVD. I'm going to start at start. Go to all programs and Windows Media Player. Windows Media Player is used by um, United Streaming, which I know a lot of teachers find a lot of videos from there. We will talk about that in a minute. If you, hear, if you open Windows Media Player, it will again bring you up with that screen that every DVD begins with where it asks you to either play, select a scene, or pick a language or other features. You would press play, then you would press play here, and then you would click here to view full screen. Now I will show you all of this right now. I'm going to close out of Windows Media Player and I am going to click open an internet browser. I'm going to use Internet Explorer. Type in www.unitedstreaming.com and click on enter. It will bring me to United Streaming. Most school systems have a username and password that they allow teachers to use. If your school system does not, I would highly recommend that um, you um, suggest this to a principal or a school board, school board member, member because it really is a great website to use. So since I'm a student at Radford University, I am going to type in my username and my password. And it brings me to the home page of United Streaming. I'm currently doing a lesson on plants, SOL 4.4 Life Processes. So I would like to talk about photosynthesis. In my search bar, I'm going to type in photosynthesis and click enter. I do not want to put autocomplete on. And it brings me up with, if we look right here, 432 videos about photosynthesis. I'm a fourth grade teacher, so I do not want to teach or show my students a grade six through eight video. I would like to show them a video for their age range. So I'm going to go down here to buy grade. You see I scroll down in my right hand, right side, to buy grade, and I'm going to click on grades three through five. That way, it takes it down to 101 videos. I want to choose this video, the sun, light, and photosynthesis. So I'm going to click on the title. And it's only it's going to open up the entire video, which is 30 minutes and 21 seconds, but I only want to show this short portion. 
So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on this disk, which means download. I'm going to click and it's going to ask me if I want to open or save this file. I'm going to click open. I'm not sure if I want to save it yet because I haven't seen the video. So I just want to open it. And as you see, Windows Media Player has opened up. It automatically plays it. I would like to view this full screen, so I'm going to click on the bottom right hand corner to view full screen, open it up, and then I'm going to take away my cursor and show this to my class. And now to stop, I just want to click back on the screen, brings back my bar down here. I want to go ahead and stop it because I am done. I would like to exit full screen mode and then I would like to exit out of Windows Media Player. These are um, DVD player and Unite Streaming are both excellent features to use with your PC as well as with your class. I would highly suggest it again if your school does not have United Streaming to um, speak with a principal or a super school board member because it, is, because it is a great teaching tool. Um, the next DVD that we are going to look at is um, how to burn a CD on your PC. Thanks and have a great day.